Hi, in this video tutorial I will show you how to use our Neon Light Painting Photoshop Action. First you have to download the action from Graphic Reaper and you can find the download link in the description of this video. Inside the zip file you will find three files that are needed for the actions to roll. A patterns file, a brushes file and an actions file. You have to load all three files in Photoshop. To do that, you have to go to Photoshop, Edit Menu, Preset Manager, choose Brushes, and click Load. Then simply select the ABR file. And then click Load. I will not do that because I already have the brushes installed. Also for the patterns, you have to select patterns, and you can do the same thing, click load, choose the patterns file and click load. Now we have to load the actions file. For that you have to go to the window menu and choose action. I already have the action uh, installed but you will have to install it in your own Photoshop installation. To do that you click on the top corner icon and choose load action, then pick the actions file, then click load. Okay. Now we can use the action. First you have to open an image. You have to make sure that the image uh, is uh, at 72 pixels per inch resolution and also that the color mode is RGB and 8 bits. Okay, you have the image open, you click on the neon light painting action and click play. The action stops for you to paint over the image. You can make the brush smaller if it's too large and then start painting over the image where you want to select the other. This can take a few minutes, so to skip this in this video I prepared uh, another PSD file in which I already did this. So when you're done painting in your image, simply resume play here. Playing the action. Alright, so the action has almost done and now it's done. This is the final result, but it's not over yet because you can do a lot of customizations. So let's take a look at that. The first thing we can do is uh, to select the add your text layer and simply choose the text to key in a uh, text that you want you can use any font you want here and of course you can move the layer around on the screen Another thing that you can do is you can add cables. First click the brush tool and set the size to around 5 pixels and simply don't draw some cables. Make sure that you are in the add cables layer. Let me do that. Okay, another thing that you can change is the light painting effect. As you can see inside this group you have several layers they're all called light painting. To see exactly which one is which you can turn them on and off. And what you can do is you can lower the opacity if it's too intense For example, you can move the layer like this. 
ये इतना तो दिखता है इट कैन लोअर और इंक्रीज द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ द लाइट सिंपली बाय डबल क्लिकिंग ऑन द कर्व्स एडजस्टमेंट एंड मूविंग द एंकर पॉइंट्स लाइक दिस depends on what effect you want to achieve a little bit like this another important customization is the color change so you have a, a group called color adjustment layers and inside that group you have four layers two gradient maps and if you double click on uh, the la layer thumbnail we can modify the the color gradient like this you can choose your own colors of course and make this blue something blue also there's another layer called custom colorize and you can pick the brush tool while in this layer Let's take a soft round brush and pick a color that you like. Let's say it's a green color. You paint over the image to create some highlight effects. You have another gradient layer here that is hidden. If you show that and double click on the thumbnail, you can also modify the gradient here also it's possible to drag around this gradient you can see how that affects the colors okay so that's about it i hope you like this action and you decide to buy thank you